Hello everybody. Welcome to another episode of Thoughts on Education. Today we have with us Dr. Urmil Dave, the HOD of Civil Engineering at Institute of Technology, Nirma University. Welcome to the college in your portal, sir. Well, thank you very much. So I'd like to start uh, the interview by a brief introduction about yourself. Okay, thank you. So I am uh, Professor Urmil Dave, working as a uh, Uh, professor and head uh, department of civil engineering institute of technology nirma university and uh, of course i am having uh, experience of more than 23 years including the industry experience of couple of years and i did my phd from uh, iit bombay and uh, have been working with uh, nirma university since last uh, more than 23 years and of course uh, include uh, involved in uh, various activities related to teaching learning research uh, and of course the development of students since last uh, all the years thank you thank you so much for your response sir so so my first question to you is that uh, being the hod of uh, the department of civil engineering what is your philosophy on leadership and how would you like to describe your leadership style uh, philosophy of leadership includes of course listening to everyone all my faculty colleagues irrespective of their cadre their opinion as far as uh, conducting any task is concerned uh, definitely matters to me so would like to hear them uh, would of course like to understand uh, the strength and weakness of all my colleagues uh, so whatever is the strength part accordingly the task is required to be given uh, and of course whenever any sort of uh, draft uh, document or any sort of draft uh, 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 document is uh, ready maybe would like to circulate to everyone for seeking their opinion because you never know uh, for any sort of exercise we may get suggestion from everyone so would obviously like to give the uh, task to my faculty colleagues or maybe staff member depending upon their strength and weakness but the department interest always comes first or institute interest always comes first so that obviously is to be seen because every work would require a stipulated amount of deadline in which it is required to be completed and obviously we would be having the different hierarchy of people together so we would also like to take along the senior faculty members and would like to continue i think uh, keeping them in confidence as far as various uh, uh, type of works are concerned so that way we would like to uh, see that the department grows Uh, in uh, long run to come and obviously would like to have the uh, department colleagues of all the domains uh, in the department so would also like to see that the various specialization of civil engineering with uh, related to that the faculty colleagues are there in the department that's great sir indeed a quite unique philosophy on leadership So so moving on my next question to you would be that uh, how do you ensure that the department of civil engineering ensures the best practices of the industry uh, we have uh, of course several things to offer for the students by department of civil engineering first of course our curriculum is uh, well developed and as far as our curriculum are concerned the students are given numerous opportunity starting with we are calling the experts from industry and academia Uh, in the form of uh, collaborative teaching or the expert lecture or guest lecture even we have started to invite the experts from uh, the foreign uh, who are from a very good university or maybe from industry so they teach the students various lessons about how to be industry ready or industry prepared Uh, apart from that the students uh, are being sent for various type of uh, site visits of shorter duration starting from that they are sent for internship which is of duration of 4 to 6 week it is a one credit course in fact and also as far as our semester 8 is concerned for btech civil engineering we are sending them to industry maybe a construction site or maybe any consultant office or maybe any other sort of uh, offices where civil engineering work is being uh, conducted so by that way the students are having opportunity of maybe one or two hour lecture to six month site training where they have been taught the various aspects related to industry not only that 
we also call the industry experts for evaluation of the student so at that time they will obviously ask the questions uh, in which the uh, industry component would be heavily weighing upon so that way in different spectrum different ways we are providing the good amount of opportunity for students to be industry ready right so so moving on what would you like uh, the people to know about the department of civil engineering that they might not know okay so first of all uh, we have a very good uh, uh, educated uh, having good technical background and having uh, uh, diversified industrial experience uh, faculty members uh, who are uh, trained and who are motivated self motivated to take all the care of the students they have in past they have shown enough evidences in terms of uh, being a very good uh, counselor and mentor for the all round development of the student apart from that we have uh, a very good laboratory infrastructure uh, where for the undergraduate program we have very good laboratory covering all the domains of uh, civil engineering which includes uh, uh, the Uh, surveying and remote sensing soil transportation environment water resources concrete technology structural engineering we also have very well developed heavy structures laboratory in which the undergraduate and postgraduate students are given uh, enough opportunity in terms of hands on uh, uh, training uh, and development related to experimentation pertaining to structural engineering testing of heavy structural components also structural uh, engineering other domains uh, the structural dynamics and earthquake engineering as well as we have very well established laboratory related to concrete technology non destructive testing and students are given opportunity with respect to testing uh, and uh, of the repaired and rehabilitated structural component so apart from that uh, we also have uh, the established mou with uh, uh, industry as well as uh, the research organizations even foreign universities where students are being sent for a training uh, we, it will be summer internship uh, of maybe 2 months to the uh, major project of 6 uh, months we also have developed a very good network with our alumni students our alumni are uh, well spread in india as well as it abroad they have studied maybe from iits to iims to very reputed universities at abroad and they have been supporting department to a significant level in terms of the overall development of the students including the technical development so that way we are fortunate to have a very good alumni support and of course we have a well developed ug program and very well developed pg program pg program in structural engineering uh, uh, ug program in civil engineering we have for more than 20 years now pg program in structural engineering we have almost i think close to 20 years and we also want to develop further uh, pg program in other domains of civil engineering also that's it it's a quite quite a unique vision for the department of civil engineering So, so moving to the later part of the interview what are some of the plans that you are currently or will be designing for the department of civil engineering and how do you tend to establish a healthy environment within the department okay as far as the plans for civil engineering department is concerned as i have already told our ug program is quite mature uh, and pg program we have in structural engineering discipline we have plan of developing the pg program Uh, in other domains like construction technology and management is the another domain which is our priority and i think department would like to uh, start this pg program soon subsequently in next 5 years we also would like to develop uh, the pg program in transportation and infrastructure engineering apart from that now also there is a need of uh, as we have told that we have a good laboratory in heavy structures laboratory which is very well developed we want to go one step further in terms of developing the center of research and that is for the uh, development and testing of sustainable materials which would not only include the materials related to uh, 
the concrete or the structural engineering domain but also it would include the materials in the domain of uh, soil in the domain of transportation and the other associated domain so developing the center of research that is also our uh, priority uh, in, apart from that based on uh, the need of the industry and based on uh, the the maybe guidelines of UGC and AICT etc would also like to modify our UG program from time to time as per the requirement so that also has been a one of the uh, uh, necessity apart from that continuing the all round development of the student which already i think we have been doing but would like to continue further doing it in next 5 years uh, also uh, the growth and development of faculty members that also is important so i think in terms of acquiring higher uh, 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 teaching affiliation as far as maybe those who are pursuing phd would like to complete phd those who have completed phd those faculty members may would like to go for post doctorate and other higher qualification so that also is uh, the next goal of the department developing the collaboration with uh, already department has a good collaboration with uh, csir laboratories and uh, 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 the nationally important uh, universities and institutes but would further like to develop activities with them maybe in terms of collaborative research and inviting them for collaborative teaching and also would like to go for the affiliation of further more institutes nationally and internationally uh, in, including the mous with foreign universities so that the reputation of the department we can uh, progress it further not only to limited to nationally but internationally also and already the department has been working on that but maybe the strong uh, efforts in those direction also we would like to have and also would like to further development the network of alumni so that the department has a good support in terms of not only teaching learning and research activity but also in the employment front also lovely wishing uh, department of civil engineering all the very best for the future endeavor sir uh, on this note i'd like to conclude the interview uh, thank you so much for your time and being on board with us quite quite an uh, intellectual session thank you so much sir thank you very much thank you